What's up guys, it's your man Chef back again for another video. And today I'm gonna to talk about how Lil Uzi Vert is more valued by his label than he thinks. And this is all because his album Eternal Take hasn't came out yet. First of all, it's an egregious argument. If you don't understand, Love is Rage 2, his debut album, came out in 2017, I believe in the summer. Last year was only one year since his album. Lil Uzi has to understand, I know in the rap game, we drop mixtapes and projects every year. But yes, I understand that Atlantic's trying to build up the hype. He's the artist that, like I heard other commentators say, shout out to Hello Yassin, that he really isn't a singles artist. Exo Tour Life blew up on a humbug, and You Were Right was a double platinum single that only peaked at number 42. I'm sorry, number 40. Money Longer peaked at number 53 and went double the platinum. Lil Uzi Vert singles will sell. They just won't be the chart toppers. And Lil Uzi has to understand that he has a dedicated fan base that will listen to his music no matter what. The second Eternal Take drops, he's going to probably do 200k first week and probably 50k of traditional album sales. Lil Uzi Vert is going to be straight. It's going to go platinum, no doubt. And he needs to understand that he's valued by his label. Atlantic knows that he's a big draw. Maybe he don't like the deal he signed, that's probably why he's doing all this, but Atlantic knows how valuable he is. They know that people will still check on his Instagram and Twitter, even though he deletes his videos constantly. Constantly posts one video here and there, then deletes it. It gets 5 million views within a day. That's numbers that you see from big celebrities. So out of this new generation of, like, trap rappers with the dyed hair and face tats and all that, Lil Uzi's different in the way. His personality's different. And many people value him. I think he needs to know that. And say like a rapper for Kodak Black, for instance. Kodak Black, the reason why Atlantic dropped his album every year, because first they don't know when the guys are going back to jail. <laughs> like, you can't depend on Kodak not being in jail for a year or two. Every year he goes to jail, you never know when he's going to finally get that sentence where he can't make any more music. So Atlantic's trying to profit as much as possible off of Kodak Black right now. They know he won't be here next year. They know he might not be here for 2021. That's why he has to release, like... Literally two albums a year. An album, maybe a mixtape, a commercial mixtape, etc. So that's why it's, you know, it's harder for Lil Uzi Vert to make an album or get it released because they want to build a hype for it and they know that his fans are there. Quarter Black, for instance, yes, he's going gold, yes, he's going platinum. He's a good seller, but they know that it's a possibility that he won't be here next year. So they're going to have to do it regardless. So Lil Uzi Vert just needs to kind of take that as a compliment to know that he has a dedicated fan base and that his label has faith in him. I think he needs to just, you know, just calm down. At the end of the day, the album is going to be released. And it will be released sometime this year. That's all I got to say. So Lil Uzi Vert is valued and he needs to realize his value. Peace out, guys. It's your boy Chef from Off The Dome.